Hello everybody and welcome to Belle's channel. Today we will be doing part 14 of the Fallout 76 beta. Um, this first video I don't think we're going to be doing a hell of a lot but you know we're going to do a few bits. <laughs> we do have this beta available to 1 but I'm not going to be playing it till 1am. Obviously it's Sunday, uh, sorry it's Thursday, I've got to get up tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I will be playing it for as long as I possibly can though. I am starting off a bit late, I'm starting off half an hour late, I had an emergency. I had to go to my dog's vet, um, she's a bit ill, but um, I'm playing now half an hour late, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty far into the game now, so it's not like we're all starting off with the vault. But yeah, I'm probably not going to be talking a hell of a lot in this video. I'm probably just going to let you experience it without hearing my voice. <laughs> Okay, so God, I'm hungry. I don't know whether it like disappears the thingy. You know the um like does our like health dissipate? when we are out of the game. I wouldn't have thought so. Moment, I do not have actually not been here. I don't even know where I am. Oh! Oh yeah, because I fast travelled to Morgantown Airport. So it must have got me just far because I was going to... I don't know what that is. I don't know what started that quest. I said investigate the Protectron. Oh! That's what I was doing. I remember. We are doing the tentative plans. Yes, I know what we're doing. Um, we were given this quest by Miguel. Um, I went to his campsite and the beta ended. Um, but I ended my video before because I knew the beta was going to end. I was just trying to get close to it and I found it. I thought it was going to be like a big campsite, but apparently not go that way. Alright, so we're near Melbourne Town Airport slash station. If you do need to trade, you can. I also do have one of the mutations. I have read up on it, and it's not a very good muta mutation to have. Basically, if I have any diseases, it helps me. Like, it, in it makes it better. So, you know, if I do have a d disease, it's not going to be good. But the more diseases I have, which is obviously bad for me, the better the mutation works or something. Anyway, we're just going to this because this is like uh, Camping 101 it's called. And we're just going to his camp. He said meet me on the camp. Mr. Fluffy. Who's Mr. Fluffy? That must be Mr. Fluffy. Miguel, I told you, don't make that chili nearby. It smells too good. I could detect it from the airfield. Why? So he's dead. Who is Miguel? I did take his some of his stuff. That is Miguel. Right there. And inside his tent he has a camping syllabus. This reads, camping syllabus. Find a safe spot. Be sure to look for fresh animals or human droppings nearby. Remember, if you find doo, -doo better shoo shoo. <laughs> Um, use recycled materials to construct your tent. Tent? Hmm. You can find scraps just about anywhere. Why have a camp, cooking stations, even your own stash? Assignment. Students should check in with any local respondent and build a camp. In the camp, volunteers should construct a simple cooking station and a stash box and demonstrate that knowledge to the local responder. Well, I've already set up like three, four camps. This is a bit late, this one. How do they expect you to volunteer takes one hundred thirty two minutes to set up a camp for the first time? Responder Miguel set up this camp in only nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine minutes. Bravo. Right okay. after the responders formed, we trained dozens of volunteers to build camps. Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program 
Hollow tape. Find them and return here. Okay, so we have to go in to go get his terminal. Now, I have been in the airport. We went in to obviously find the overseer and the like the uh, head responders once we became a volunteer. But it's a bit sumptuous for us to do this, isn't it? Like straight off the bat. You know, we have to take down a whole airport. Ignoring that. Attention all responders. This is a top priority message. Whoa! Radar has spotted an inbound cargo bot. We've got to secure the landing zone and take the drop. Need those supplies, but the cargo bot's going to attract attention, so get ready for a fight. I wonder what the toilet paper has. Right, let me just get rid of this quest that we've got. I don't want to do it. This is Miguel's. Oh, I came in the right area then. So with all the robots, it's Miguel's terminal. Live free or die free. Oh. Great, you broke my arm. Schematic. So download. So hold on. Right, yeah, sorry about that, about being away. Um, do this week, fix camping program bugs, check Flatwoods kiosk for issues. Hmm? Get Gary Giffrey's next visit, take another chair to the camp. Okay. I did wait, I, I paused the game for a bit so the events ended. I don't feel like taking them. Oh no, I do, I do take them. Alright, sweet bean. Hmm? My Gary, my sweet Gary bean, I'll be up at my camp. Maria is giving me a sanity day, so I can relax. Join me. I hope you bought some of that comfort food from Flatwoods we can have a picnic. Don't worry if any volunteers stop by to learn stuff, the robot should be able to take care of them. I wrote a whole program to do with that, so I can actually relax and enjoy the outdoors with you now. Love you, dear heart, M Miguel. Oh, so that must be his program. Yeah. I need to have some more. I need to like make a stock of this soon. Because I'm running out of water in this impact. Oh, fusion core. Okay, well. I haven't actually explored this area very much. Anyway, we're going to go back to there. I'm going to turn on my mic and let you guys watch. And you know what? I hate camping. 
go over to that nearby clearing and set up your can. Maybe at a cook fire and a storage container. You can always move your whole camp later. Miguel used to be laid back, but these days he's just intense. It never gets old. Unlike Miguel's decomposing remains. It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. Oh my god, dirty belt. What is that? I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna take up the stuff at the camp though. Finding wood is actually a lot harder than you think. There should be fallout. Wait, door there anyway. I'm gonna put a crafting station because we need some food and stuff. Go there. Why can't we generate now? Just wait here for more of you. I hope more. 
camping wasn't always for everyone, but now that everything is destroyed, it's quite literally now for everyone living the dream. Right, Miguel? I think I'm going to stay here for a while and continue Miguel's work until it's not needed. Well, look who's the happy camper now.
Okay, well, thank you for... Sorry. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I do hope you liked this video. We did build quite a big base, and I've learned that you can actually... It does store what you've used at your last base. So, you know, if you build a new base, you don't lose everything, which is good, because I didn't realise it could do that. It actually made me feel a lot better about Fallout 76, to be honest. Um, and yeah, probably in the next episode we'll probably um, either register for more advanced responder training or talk to the Grafton Mayor. And maybe visit Sutton. Thank you for watching and goodbye.